Turn has advanced. Ready to watch the turn? I am. Let's do Let's it. Go. Watching. Dun 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 dun. He plays dun, stuff dun, dun. in Volga. Ah, oh, ah. Oh, we're okay. <laughs> okay, so we did the. Yeah. Okay, he's doing the slow. He's thing. doing the transfers. <laughs> totally predicted. Okay. Woo. Okay, he's gonna hit with three and can't even sisk probably. Darn. Yes. Oh, maybe he won't. He won't hit with three in Katie Minsk. He'll hit from Comey Republic, though. Maybe. If he doesn't, this is going to be hilarious. They won't know about the block. They didn't do a gift. Or at least it's not in a place we can see. It might be an Archangel. So he wouldn't have guaranteed the defense if it was an Archangel. He attacked everyone. Yeah, so I'm eliminated. But the good news is it's a blockade, so we can't get it. Yep, blockade of 10. I mean, he could still get it if he placed everything up there, I think. Well, no, he's got four. He's got three guys that can't attack from Sphered Loft. If he deploys nine, he's attacking with 12. So he can't get it this turn. Well, they do have a card. Yeah, that's what I was saying. How did you not... Okay, no, I just didn't get to it. I stopped watching the turn before it showed that you got a card. <laughs> okay. How did I... How? What? How? I know card. What? what? No, I got it. I was quite confused for a second. If he placed uh, 14 up there, he could hit with 17 into Tyuman, mm -hmm. and then he could get it. But that's basically just giving you West Russia, so not a bright idea. I would say that's actually a very unwise idea. I would say it was a it would actually be better to give your teammate <laughs> the uh, card <laughs> and then do that. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I'm not there. But his teammate is not either. True this. You can get two territory, so next turn you can guarantee it. Uh, I'll be sending you the guy from Iberian Peninsula, so next turn you should be able to get to Caribbean Islands. Yep. Sounds good. Yep. So I'm thinking of just putting everything in Ukraine and hitting Southwest Russia. Yeah. Alternatively, I can also finish the bonus and just assume that he's not going to attack. <laughs> no, I, I'd say go for it. <laughs> just hit Southwest Russia. Mm. In fact, you could hit Northwest Russia with two as well, or three. Hit Northwest Russia with three. Southwest yeah, Russia with everything else. That yeah, would be hitting with nine. That's all right. I like that. Just make sure they hit into Northwest Russia's first move. Oh, I wasn't doing a three. first move, but I'll make it first move. I haven't had it third. Might mm. as well make it first move. Yeah, I guess. Unless, you know, he deploys two and would attack me, but I hit him first, so he defends me and then he just doesn't attack. The issue is, if they, well, no, if they did a gift in Archangels, then his teammate could help, but it wouldn't be enough. If, if his teammate has Archangels, then it sucks for him. Yeah. He's got five income. Yeah. Yeah, and it's too slow for him to really pressure me. Yep. Because they can't use their card effectively. I mean, he's the only, he can use the card. Okay, if this, in this case, make sure that you're putting your extras in these orcs because we might actually just have to defend there. Uh, yeah. If we don't see his teammate, but I'm I'm still thinking his teammate might be an archangels. But if his if we don't see his teammate, then yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. They they probably didn't gift it so. Yeah. Gonna need to defend the Azores. You're gonna have to sneak your way down through Japan and Taiwan. Yep. Good news is the starting spots are not in Taiwan or Japan. <laughs> yeah. It's so that makes it easier. It? Yep. Yeah. Well, th there are only three spots, so once you get rid of two, yeah, you, you narrowed it down to one. Good job.
Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm hitting Labrador and South Quebec so that I will have two to work with on Are you either guaranteeing side. Both? Yeah. Are you sure you want to guarantee both? Shouldn't I? That way I can. I mean, the worst that could happen is I guarantee North Quebec next turn. The worst I mean, that can happen well, is you no. have an extra leftover that you don't need in order to guarantee it next turn. No, that's not the case. If I have two and two, because I hit with two fours, I'll have threes at the best. The best case scenario is I have two on either side. So I don't need to place anything there. The worst is I need to place two there. Yeah. To guarantee it. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully I just get the scenario where I just have three in both and I can just guarantee East Canada. Either way, I will be hitting the Caribbean Islands next turn. With three. Oh, I'm at giving at you least. One. Oh yeah, I'll be hitting with four then. Hey! It's almost like we planned it. We totally didn't, but or at least <laughs> This was the uh Contingency plan. <laughs> this is contingency plan C, Delta, four. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. yep. 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 Check it out. Okay. Look it up. Look it up. Yeah. You'll find yeah. it. You'll find. It's on the internet, yeah. man. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> the guide to Warlight and being awesome. Warlight contingency plan. C four delta. No, it's delta C delta four, Matthew. Okay, Get it straight. I'm sorry. <laughs> C delta four. Okay. Get it Anyways, straight, man. We Come will on. see what happens when turn advances. Yeah, hardcore times are about to be had. And turn has advanced. Indeed it has. Let us continue with the watching of the turn, yes? Watching. Deployed eleven. I think he used the card. <sighs> yeah, he used the card. He deployed 14. No, he defended Northwest Russia. Well, huh. He only killed one with that, too. Yep. <laughs> oh, I lost two in both places. That sucks. Maximum losses. It looks like if things work out, unless he hits Ukraine before you move out. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm good, yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, you're good. You'd be dead. Sweet. He might attack back into Ukraine then. But oh. No, he won our two of the two. Aww. <laughs> Aww. He's fine. I broke his bonus. He's down to five income. We have a card. <laughs> they use theirs. They do have an order delay card, though. Excellent. I mean, that sucks. That order <laughs> delay card sucks. But the reinforcement card's good. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, you're, you should probably use it. Finish East Canada. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Two income is all you need over there to guarantee it. Yep. So I will be hitting Caribbean with nine to get down there. Yep. And, and hopefully you can beat him, beat Eon. Yeah. It's possible he could be going to Caribbean this turn, so this could go very well or badly. It's also possible he could not even be in Venezuela this turn, which would be amazing. If he's not in Venezuela, then we are in an excellent spot. Although he will have more income, so that will be a little iffy. But you will also be going to Taiwan, presumably. Yeah, this turn I'll hit uh, Japan with the stuff I have in Kamchatka. And then next turn, Taiwan. Although it is possible that he might have predicted a Russian Far East spawn for us. Mm -hmm. So he might be heading up there. If he... It's unlikely that he would get to Japan before me, but that's the worst case. It just depends on what they choose to do. I mean, the good news is his leftovers would be, unless he finished Southeast Asia first, and even then it's a little hard, uh, his leftovers wouldn't really be in a good spot to work on Taiwan. He would sure. have to move them all the way back to Philippines. If he finished Philipp Southeast Asia first then that would be okay, because he would have time to do that while he took his other bonus. Yeah. I... But, still, anyway. Sounds he could good. also be finishing North Brazil. Um, he could be working on Northern South America. There, there are a lot of possibilities for how he could 
uh, go for this. He could try and finish Brazil as he goes to Caribbean Islands this turn. Alternatively, he could try and finish Brazil and, like, take Peru or something and position himself to take Northern South America next turn while at the same time going to Caribbean with, like, three to four. That's if he got good leftovers, but it, it's possible. It is it is very easily possible. And then yeah. next turn, when he goes to the Azores, he would also be able to finish Northern South America because he'd have 15 income to finish it with and some leftovers in North Brazil at that point. So it sounds like that since he wants to finish Brazil at the same time as going to Caribbean, that he won't be hitting it with very many. Hopefully. So you should be able to get it, unless he realizes for some reason that you're in East Canada. <laughs> or he just plays just in case. If he plays the just in case style of play where, you know, just in case someone can potentially get to Caribbean, let me go there with a little bit more and just take my bonus next turn. Because that's the turn that's really important where he'd be going to the Azores anyway, presumably. Yeah. It's four less guys. There's I know. A, there's pros and cons to that. I mean, exactly. It depends on how much they've extrapolated our spawns. I mean, if if they, they know they about, about Ural, they know that I have eleven income, so they know mm -hmm. I have another three bonus somewhere. If for some reason they think that I'm in East Canada, <laughs> it's possible that they might. But something else is they could very easily know about East Canada. True. But if they did, would they assume that it's you, or would they assume that it's me? Yeah, they would assume me. They would assume that, uh, I mean, that that just seems a little strange for you to have East Canada and West Central Europe. Or, sorry, West Central Europe, Western Europe. Well, not a whole lot of teams, you know, choose territories next to each other. Yeah. But it makes so more sense. If, if people are... If they know that two bonuses, which are basically next to each other, are taken, most people assume them to be the same person. And usually they're right. In this case, they'd be wrong, though. Yeah, but would they assume that? Well, I don't know if they would assume anything. They might just play the just-in-case style of play. Just in case that is the other guy, yeah, but I want to go loss. here as a stack. I, just in case that he might somehow... You know, even though we saw all of his income, his teammate might be over there. I don't know. That's a lot of ifs. I don't know if we would think of that. We, I, we would I probably don't. think, you know, they might be doing that, but it's not worth it. You you know, you want to finish your bonus. Yeah, and, he, you know, even if he does come down there, it doesn't matter because he's got a income. Puh. We're going to have 15 at least when he comes by here. So it just depends. Mm. Depends on how they read into stuff and how much they know. If they know about East Canada, that makes it much more likely that they'd go to Caribbean with a stack. What's the plan after you get to Caribbean, though? I mean, you won't be able to break into Venezuela if he's already there. Well, the plan is to pressure him so that... He, I mean, I don't think I'll break in. Uh, but the point is, pressure him so that if you can get some space with Math Wolf and go to Taiwan, there's he's suddenly in big trouble because Eon has enough income to deal with me. He doesn't have enough income to deal with you and me. He almost does. If he finishes Northern South America, he will. And that's the worry that I have. I don't know about that, because he would have enough to defend his bonuses. Yeah, and to... He would uh, have 18 income, we would have 19 income. But that's not the point. He's also got a teammate who's near elimination at that and point. And his teammate is contributing 5 income of pressure every turn. Yeah, but he's also near elimination. We're threatening bonuses in West Russia. So it's it's a if little more complicated. Much income, I, don't, I, don't know. I don't think that they would be in a bad position if they can hold Venezuela. I think they would be in a pretty good position. I still agree, but the thing is, it is better to... It, it, there. The alternative is what? To not go to Caribbean and let him take it? I mean, that's not going to happen. No way. 
I mean, we can't, we can't blockade the Azores because we used the blockade in Tyumen. Uh, and I don't really agree with blockading the Azores at this point anyway. So, I mean, going to Japan and I mean, Taiwan... Yeah, we have to do that. I'm just thinking, mm -hmm. what's the best way to approach this for the following turns? Yeah, I gotcha. Because if... Because next turn I'll be hitting Taiwan, mm -hmm. and I'll need to do that with a stack. So I need to be in a position against Mass Wolf this turn where I won't need to put much the following turn. And right now I'm not sure about these moves because I was just going to put, I was just going to defend, assuming that if he puts all of his income in Ukraine, I wanted to make sure that I can guaranteedly defend East Central Europe or near guarantee. There's like a five percent chance that he wins this or something, but. Mm -hmm. He may just go to Balkan Peninsula. In that case, I'll have to defend it Italy next turn with even more income and put a couple extra in East Central Europe. So I'm not sure about these moves anymore because I won't be in a position where I can reliably pressure Eon. Yeah, I see what you're but saying. But I can't risk giving Math Wolf back West Russia. Yeah, I agree with that as well. Well, um, I don't think we can account for every possibility. Uh, I mean, you could try and take Balkan. The issue is they have an order delay card this turn. So that's that's a big risk to try hitting Balkan. If you hit Ukraine, it's less of a risk if you do it first move. But it's still a risk that they could delay out of Baltic states. Yeah. So we can't account for every possibility. Got to pick a <laughs> pick a strategy, pick a scenario, play against it and hope it accounts for the most options and yeah. The Use most likely times. scenario. Yeah, really. Decisions are hard. Life is difficult, especially in video games. Hmm. <laughs> um. Well, you can place a few in Southwest Russia, place most everything in East Central Europe. You could try placing stuff in Southwest Russia, gambling that... He, there's something else. He's He knows you have 16. Uh, he should expect you to use 16 income. So... Yeah. Because they see no reason why I should not, why I should be using the card. Yeah. As far as they're concerned, yeah. there's no reason for me to use the card this turn. Yeah. So, I mean, they would assume that I finished my bonus last turn, and uh, because the only reason I didn't was because I took the Azores, because we didn't expect Westrasia. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man so anyway uh, so they should be expecting me to uh, you know continued expansion probably but I shouldn't need the card for this turn because I wouldn't be in a position to finish my bonus with it my next bonus with it anyway sure Well, I still, um... The bad thing is, I don't think I can be in a position reliably where ma I can't, don't, won't need to put guys against Math Wolf. Yeah. So I'm just not going to be able to pressure Yeon much, which means that we're going that to be get caught to a stalemate where he has the advantage. Well, that, I don't, here's the thing, I don't know if, I don't, I mean, I, you don't need to necessarily rely on... Just, just go for something that's seems likely. What and do you mean that, seems likely? That seems likely to occur. Prepare for a scenario that seems likely to occur, and just go with that. That, because that's, I, I mean, you can't account for everything at this point. You can't. 
Yeah, so why gamble when I can just do... Well, you're forced to gamble if you can't account for every scenario. That's like the definition of a gamble, isn't it? You don't necessarily know the outcome, but you have to pick something. So by definition, I think that is a gamble. I think that's the least definition of gamble, but okay. Um, what Probably, I was thinking yeah. was just a gambit. letting him gambit. decide what, how this progresses. I mean, if I attack anywhere, then it, the risks are too great. The, the, the payoff of the gamble is not worth it. If you lose, which is yeah. the case with most gambles. And the odds of success are not high enough. That's what I'm saying. Really? I don't think they are. Well, where do you? Well, he's only got five income to work with. Yeah. Where do you and think he's, he's going to place? Only going to put them in one area. I don't know. That's the reason why it's not likely. I mean, I if, don't okay, think if he, he if they think that, that we're going to use the card, uh -huh. and he's not going to go aggressive. But what would he do if he's not going to go aggressive? Just sit back and die? No, he's not going to sit back and die. Did, was a gift not. up here? They might gift up in, like, northwest Russia. But they haven't gifted recently, so why would they gift now? I don't know. Well, <laughs> I would say a gift is very likely, but at the same time, they it also have It depends how far away. If he's moving yeah. into Caribbean this turn, they probably won't gift. Yeah. But they might not be moving into Caribbean this turn. Mm-hmm. So it depends. Uh, if they don't move into Caribbean, then they they gift they will have gifted. I mean, there's. Well, we thought they would previous turns too. No, no, we thought there was. It was likely. It was possible they could gift. But the thing is, Yeon had fourteen. Sorry, Yeon. Math Wolf had fourteen income to work with last turn. I can completely see where it makes sense to go for this possibility, where you could just potentially run into him in West Central Russia. And if that happens and he defends his bonus and single-handedly wins the game by taking Ukraine and Baltic states, then it's game over at that point pretty much. We're screwed. Uh, so they had a chance to just win the game. Why not go for it? And it didn't work out, but that's not the point. The point is it had a chance to work. Yeah, okay, well... Now they don't have that opportunity as easily. That doesn't make it likely, considering they haven't done it previously, that they would do it this turn. It makes it a possibility. Yeah. So, I mean, as you said, we can't account for everything. Yeah, you're right. So I don't, I don't, I think we have to exclude the possibility of doing this because it's the edge case. Well, I don't know if that would even change our moves anyway. Would it? Well, it makes it more likely that Math Wolf would go for Balkan Peninsula, in my opinion, at least. Yeah, but that would force him to use a gift next time. Because turn. he would be breaking his bonus, so he definitely won't go for the att attack in uh, southwest Russia last move with order delay. He won't need to do that because he's breaking his own bonus with a gift. So he was more likely to go for Balkan Peninsula in that case. Mm -hmm. And that will put him into a position to pressure me down south while his teammate comes into Baltic states with a stack the following turn. Where would he use the gift in this case again? Northwest Russia. Okay, all right. I could see that. Baltic states, yeah. I thought you said Another Balkan alternative Peninsula. is just putting everything in Ukraine and gifting that. Yeah, that's way too risky. I don't know if I'd if I'd ever do that. Just because you have 16 income, you can eliminate whatever I put there. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if he'll do that. That's a bit extreme. I mean, he could try it. Hey, because he's he knows he has a lot of options here. He could try it. But that that's pretty risky. If you I mean, just nailed him. No matter what the situation is, it's not reliable enough for me to say that I can pressure Yi on next turn. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I can defend against him. I can defend my bonus. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is Yi on. Mm -hmm. Like, what is going to happen three turns from now when we have a border with Yi on in Taiwan and from Caribbean Islands? If you are unable to break into Venezuela, then we get into a a stalemate and because he has the expansion in northern south america i think he's got the advantage in the long term i can see that so that's what i'm trying to figure out a possible approach that we can use to turn the tides in a little bit into our favor
I'm really not seeing Neat much ideas here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing much of a downside to just hitting Ukraine or hitting West Central Russia. Ukraine He's would be got delay. Well, yeah. So what? If he wants to take back Southwest Russia, get his bonus back, he's still screwed. So what Ow. advantage does he gain from that? He, he's he, he'd have nine income, but he would have nothing. He'd have nine to defend. income, and his teammate would be that much closer to helping him out, and we That's it would not, be that much harder no, no, to no. break the bonus the following turn. No, no, no. He the thing is, well, you got you can even if it's temporary income for him, it's a it's a good advantage. It just makes it more, more into their favor. Well, here's Giving the thing. Giving them any breathing room, any income at all. You have to wonder, worse. Matthew. You have to wonder. Do you think that he will assume you, you'd leave Southwest Russia open? Because, I mean, he shouldn't. He shouldn't play for that possibility because Every you have time 16 income. Every time you tried predicting I know. Turn, I know. Yes, he has done the unexpected. Well, okay, this, he's, this guy is not that predictable. Well, he's you know he's just a smart he's, player. That's he, he yeah, he's, he's a smart player. He's played Both a very. These guys are smart players. I would argue he's played a very predictable game though thus far. Well, it's. Okay. I would just argue There's that I played incorrectly. Predictability <laughs> and reverse psychology. He predicted you. That doesn't make him predictable. Well, no. If you really look at it, the solid play is to do exactly what he did in both cases. And that, I mean, yeah. that's what he did. But knowing when to do the solid play and when to do something else, he know. As far as I can tell, so far, he's done a lot of good moves. He made a slight miscalculation on where I would attack. He thought mm -hmm. I would hit West Central Russia, and instead I hit Southwest Russia. I mean, it, it, that's really a coin flip. I mean, you can't predict your opponent one hundred percent. So he committed to a fifty percent option. It was much more likely that I would hit one of those than hit uh, Northwest Russia. Yeah, that that I mean, but my point is that's still a predictable strategy. I mean, it just it's obvious. It's like, well, that's just what you do. It's the solid play. That's all I'm saying. And I don't think taking back Southwest Russia is a very good idea because you have 16 income to work with. You could just place and sit, and then what's he gonna do? He'd basically be screwing himself out of any opportunity to threaten so in Western the event Europe. He doesn't do any of that. And he puts all of his income in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. There's two possibilities for him to do. Hit Balkan Peninsula, hit East Central Europe. Hit East Central Europe is too easy for me to defend, so he's probably not going to do that, especially if he assumes that I have six, and I'm going to be pulling 16. So he's just going to hit Balkan Peninsula. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you really think that he's going to commit all of his income? He's going to hit it with eight. He's going to have six the following turn that can attack, maximum. He can put five more. He can hit with 11 in the Italian potential. I can defend that easily. Why would he commit to something that he knows he can be defended against? I the don't know. The only well, reason <laughs> he would do that is if, one, he gifts to his teammate in Northwest Russia, mm -hmm. or his teammate is hitting Caribbean this turn, and the same turn when he would be trying to attack, well, no, even then his teammate would be one turn slower. Yeah. Well, it, when you talk like that, it makes me think, wow, his position really sucks. <laughs> the thing is, though, yeah, his, his position is terrible. I'm not saying his position is good at all. The only thing I'm worried about is I need to get into a position where I don't need to put guys against him mm -hmm. so that I can put guys against Yeon. And I'm trying to optimize it in that way yeah. so that I, he's, so that I don't need to yeah. care, so that he can't put pressure on me. Because if he goes to Balkan Peninsula... He, I need to put basically all of my income to defend against him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I don't want to do that because then I can't even go to Taiwan at all. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you there. I'm just saying, like, uh, I don't... I mean, there are so many different options he has right now. You might as well just pick something that works for most of them and go with it. Because you can't... I mean, it, ultimately, if he goes to Balkan, yeah, that's not really so good in the fact that you can't go to Taiwan. But, I mean, do we... There, there's, there's a lot of different things he could do here. So I was like, do you want to go for? Balkan? Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning more and more towards hitting Ukraine first move with nearly my entire stack. I'm just gonna sitting in Southwest Russia with seven. Is not well. If I can get the first move in, then it is pretty safe. He can't, he can't break it. Not this turn, unless he can get the guys from Ukraine to attack first move. So, 
I guess that's the best well, option. We yeah. Have. Um, and you, yeah. I mean, you could try placing one. In, well, I'm afraid to mention this because uh, every time I've I've suggested something, it, it it fails. So it's very sad this game for me. You've been carrying hard. The biggest uh, risk I have is him putting guys in Baltic states and hitting from there. Yeah, that's why I was thinking like placing one in East Central Brazil if he decided to go with two or something. East Central Brazil. East wow, uh, East, East Central, Central Europe. Europe. <laughs> East Central Brazil. Yep. East Central <laughs> Europe. I mean, I wasn't putting anything in Southwest Russia. I was just uh -huh. sitting with those guys. Oh, okay. You were going to put in East Central Europe. Yeah. Oh, well, that's fine. I mean, I'll have the leftovers if he puts the... So the risk is that I take it, and then he just attacks behind me to get the Belgian border. Yeah. Uh, well, you don't have to hit it with everything, uh, because it's not like you really lose a whole lot if... Uh, yeah, what I want to do fail is in attack Ukraine. with enough so that he can't get Balkan, Balkan Peninsula. Exactly. So, if he puts all five there and he has nine, I need to kill... I need to have ten five. that can attack. I need to kill... Six, actually. So you huh? need to hit I with I need ten. to kill seven. Uh, or preferably eight. <laughs> wait, if he placed five in Ukraine, he'd have he nine. He would have nine that can attack. Eight that can attack. Oh, you're right. Wow, how did I miscalculate that? I, I don't know. Uh, okay. just, just hit with, you say you need to kill six. So you need to kill ten. I mean, you need to hit with ten. I wanted to be able to hit Baltic States with two. But I guess that's not going to happen. <laughs> Man, that is disappointing. <laughs> Life sucks, and then you die. I really did want to get Baltic states to check on Northwest Russia. Well, you can still hit with a three and a three in Volga in West Central Russia. Because Northwest Russia is going to be... I mean, because he's like gonna, he he's likely to move out of West Central Russia. Either that or place the in question everything is, where there. is he gonna go? Oh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. You're not helping. I mean, he's <laughs> he's in such a crappy spot that it's like he's got. I'm not gonna split up my second Southwest Russia three three. If I'm gonna attack, I'm gonna hit West Central Russia with six. Okay, I could see that. Not Volga with six. No, because I want to check on Northwest Russia. Russia. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. That's fine. Go for it. Okay. Yeah. So you're thinking you can just commit and I'll look at it and I'll be able to tell what you're doing. That works. I did. Four. Ten. Don't you want uh, don't you want your tin hit to be first move? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, wasn't that the point? <laughs> he just goes to Balkans and I whoop behind him. Slip de doo. Let me just sneak on in here. Yeah. Random statement, but if you're you're attacking North Quebec, I don't know how you have them ordered. Well you should make your one in Labrador first. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 I did that. Okay. Just wanted to make sure myself. I was like, did I do that? Yeah, I did. We're good. Okay, well. I like it. I like that set of moves all right. Then here we go. Seems a little funky, honestly, but uh, just, it's like, well. Well, what do you think's know. the... Uh... I, it just, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it seems a little funky. It's like, okay, let's just grab Ukraine here and ignore Baltic states, but what can you do? I mean, it seems decent. It's also... It's so risky, though. 
Well, yeah. I mean, there is also the possibility he could he's... do... You know, oh. actually, thinking about it, what seems more likely is not that he would hit a Balkan with a, a stack, because he knows you're going to defend Italy. It seems more likely he would hit it with just four. Be and Or just three, even. So he doesn't even place anything in Ukraine. And the reason I'm saying that, that yeah. is because, I mean, I, he doesn't, he should expect you to hit that first move. So you actually might even want to hit that with less. Right? I think I'm seeing what you mean. And then you could also, in that case, you could still take Baltic states. Let's see. I mean, heck, what we're preparing for is the move in Balkan Peninsula. Yeah. I mean, we could just hit Ukraine with two. Well, he you know he could delay. That's that's not why. Well, no, he wouldn't in that case though. It seems stupid to delay. He should just hit with four in Balkan. You wouldn't delay a move like that from Ukraine. That makes no sense. Right? Just hit, Yeah, he wouldn't delay that. Just hit Ukraine with two. Hit Balkan with everything. I mean, not everything, but you know, like five. Something like that. Eh, his guy's coming from West Central Russia. Oh, good point. Are just as likely to go down as they are to go anywhere else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, West Central Russia guys are so sort I'm, of... I'm still thinking a first move into Ukraine is best, although with fewer, we don't need to hit with as many. Yeah. I could see that. So I'm thinking hitting Ukraine with seven, and then Baltic with the other four. Okay. And then still hitting uh, West Central Russia? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. I committed again so you can take a look at the revised ones. The revised orders. Um, seven, four, ah. Uh, oh, let's change the orders. Or the order of the orders. The order of the orders. I'm thinking of moving one guy from East Central Europe over to West Southwest Russia. So I'm only going to be hitting, uh, Baltic with three instead of four. That's fine, I think. Because okay. the most he could hit with from Baltic is five, so. Yeah. Although he might. That I could see being delayed. Yeah. I could totally see that being delayed. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready. All right, then. Uh, let me see one more time. What was it? Seven, four, four. Oh, you didn't change it, or did I not refresh? Seven, four. Okay, seven, three. I could see that, yeah. Although, if he's going to delay out of Baltic states, I don't know if, I mean... You want me to just sit? If, yeah, if, I mean, well, no, no, well, yeah, I guess you could just sit, but the point, that's not really what I'm saying. If it, it, The Southwest Russia move, I think, should be later, just because the Baltic States move, if he was going to really delay that, he has enough to delay it well beyond four moves. He has stuff in Northwest Russia to use as well. He does? I think so. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he does. That's great. And that. he has leftovers still in Europe. He's got one guy. Up he's got in stuff in. Russia. He's got stuff in Sverdlovsk, I think. Or actually, that might not be the case. He moved the guy from Sverdlovsk over to Volga last turn. Yeah, that was it. But he's still got stuff in like No Noya Bruce that he brought over to Canty Mansisk, I guess. I guess. So he's still got a lot of stuff he can use for delay. Yeah, I see what you mean. So yeah, trying... I'm not going to hit Baltic then. Okay. Trying to delay Baltic states, there doesn't really serve much of a purpose, to be honest. Just because he's he has the ability to out-delay you. There's no question about that. Uh, 
seven, four, seven, three. Oh, it didn't refresh again. Seven, four, seven. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think we're ready. We should commit. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess I'll go for it. I hope we didn't overthink these orders, but we yeah, probably did. Ready to watch? Yeah, I am prepared. Okay, let's watch. All right.